Hey there, it's Kate Story with Book More Brides. I just wanted to take a couple of minutes and go over a topic that I know a lot of people that we've worked with have really found to be very useful, um, and it's really how to communicate clearly with your clients. So this is something we've addressed in a couple of our past member sessions, but we've talked about the concept of being clear rather than clever. I think there was a trend a while back where, um, you know, having cute titles and, you know, really being funny and witty in your communications uh, was what helped to get the attention of people in your communications. So, you know, when you posted social media updates or sent out emails or things like that, um, being clever and witty and funny was what was needed in order to get the attention of the people you wanted to connect with. But the thing is, you know, now that there's so much noise online, that there are so many emails that your couples are receiving every single day, especially as they're planning their wedding, all these different vendors that are, I'm sorry, wedding professionals that are uh, reaching out to them, it's hard for, you know, for you to be able to catch their attention. So the best way to do this now in 2020 is by making sure that you're being really, really clear making sure that every email you send, every post that you put on Facebook or Instagram, um, any pins that you do, that you are very clearly communicating what it is that you are trying to tell them um, and why they need to listen to you. And the reason behind this, not just because there's so much noise, but the truth of the matter is that the human attention span is now less than that of a goldfish. Seriously. So a goldfish has apparently a nine second attention span. There's your useful or useless information <laughs> detail for the day. But a goldfish has an attention span of nine seconds. And we as humans now have an attention span of six to eight seconds. So that means that anytime that you are communicating with your clients, and let me just throw this out here, that includes your website. That means that you have to catch their attention in that attention span, I'm sorry, in that, that frame of time before they're like, oh, I'm bored and on to the next thing. So you have to make sure that you are quickly and clearly saying exactly what it is that you're trying to get to them, that you are not, you know, being funny and, and trying to, um, you know, show your sense of humor. You can do that. But when you're first trying to grab them, make sure that you're being very, very clear on what it is that you're asking them to do, what you want them to do, and how you are going to be the best one to work with them and how you are going to benefit them the most. So um, you also don't want to make people have to guess at what it is that you're trying to tell them. Um, you want to make it very clear how you can help them, what you can do for them, what you offer. You want to say it and you want to say it often. So um, really making sure that you're getting to the point right away. This is something, you know, a story, take a 10 second time out and not take my own advice. But, you know, something that has always been told to me is Reader's Digest version, Kate, because I tend to have a storytelling gene in me. It's really, you know, kind of funny that I ended up marrying a man whose last name was Story because uh, I'm, I'm quite good at that. But anyways, um, it's really important to make sure that you are condensing the most important information at the beginning, making sure that your couples know exactly what it is that they're going to get from you and why this is important to them. Um, so you really want to make sure that you tell them where you're going, how you're going to be able to get them there. More than anything, what they want to know is what's in it for me. So making sure that when you are communicating with them, taking it from their point of view and making sure that you are, you are communicating and you are telling them things that is going to make them see how it's going to apply to their wedding and to their planning. Um, talking about your credentials and everything like that are, is important, but in the context of how it's going to benefit them. So for example, you know, if you have been in the industry for a long time, you want to talk about that from how your experience is going to benefit them and that you are going to be able to anticipate their needs, that you're going to know uh, right away how uh, to be able to, to work with them and know what they need even before they need it. So those kinds of things, making sure that you are taking whatever your benefits are and making sure that it really applies to how they're going to be able to benefit from that. So, and, and again, every time you tell the, this kind of information, you really want to make sure that it is said as clearly as possible without making them have to guess what you mean by what you're saying. 
So that's your little takeaway for today, making sure that you are being very clear in your communication, say it quick, say it often, and making sure that you are saying it in a way that is going to allow them to see what the benefit is for them, how your um, strengths and the reasons why they should choose you as a professional for their wedding, how that is going to benefit them. And I think you're gonna to start to see some really great results from that. So anyways, I hope that helps and we will talk to you soon. Thanks.